Hey y'all, Freshermet here from IBM Engineering, and today I'm going to show you all how to create custom data types for attributes in IBM Engineering's Doris Next. First, make sure you are inside the project that you want to create this custom data type for. Once you have that loaded up, go over to the top right hand corner and click on the gear icon. In the drop down menu that appears, click on the second option that says Manage Project Properties. Then from this menu up top here, it will automatically default to whatever you last selected and make sure that you select attribute data types. From the window that appears, click on new data type and now I'll run you all through an example. So the project that I'm in is a project that I'm working on so that way I can train my new Bernard Doodle puppy. And what I wanna do is I wanna be able to measure my puppy's skill set and be able to classify say a sit command as maybe they're advanced at it, or maybe the next week that they're kind of going through like puppy teenage years and they kind of regress. So that way we can track that over time and figure out what we need to be training on. So to do that, I'm gonna put in the data type as skill and I'm gonna click on enumerated list of values. I'm gonna leave that automatically selected as an integer. Then I'm gonna go over to add multiple values and start filling this out. So I just put in stuff going from not certain yet all the way up to expert and I will click on OK and we can see a list is automatically populated here. Finally, I will click on save. Now what I need to do is go add this data type as an artifact attribute. And to do that, I will hop over to my artifacts attributes tab and click on new attribute. The attribute is going to be skill level. And I will select the data type from this list right here as skill. Finally, make sure you hit that big blue save button. Now what we need to do is we need to add this artifact attribute to an act artifact type. And to do that, we just need to hop into the artifact type column. If we want to create a new artifact type, we can click that button right there. But I already have a puppy requirement previously created, so I'm going to add it right here. All we need to do is click on the puppy requirement then go over to add attribute. Finally, we can scroll through this list and go all the way down to skill level and click on that. And I will click okay right here. Finally, I'll save it. Now let's hop over and take a look at the data type that we just created as an example. So we can see I just have a very basic, just uh, one type of requirement in here that is the sit command. So now to add this attribute to the project, we just need to click on the configure page settings button and go down to more. I'll then type in skill and we can click on the skill level that appears here and click add. Finally, I'll click OK. And now when we click inside this skill level box, we have a whole bunch of stuff that we get to add. And since I don't have the puppy yet, it's coming in about a month's time. I'm going to click on not start, not start a training. Thank you all for watching. If you all have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can find me at Brad Charmet on LinkedIn and also my emails in the description below. Hope you all have a great rest of your day.